Kumo desu ga nani ka. So, I'm a spider. So what? Is an action anime with lots of comedy. And there's also a lot of unsolved mysteries that add layers to the plot. Life is going on normally. Nothing seems off. A tragedy happens and everyone in school dies. The school kids are reincarnated into a new world as nobles and princes. But our main character is reincarnated as a spider. In this game world, she must defeat monsters and level up. As that's the only way for her to live a better life. Let's connect. Redive. Another action anime set in a game world. A man named Yuki falls from the sky having no memory of his past life. Yuki gets acquainted with the elf named Kokoro, the battle-skilled Pickering, and the magical girl Carol. Together, this group explores the strange world, taking on monsters, exploring the lands, and also trying to fix Yuki's missing memory. Kamitachi, Nihiro wa Reta Otoko. Welcome to one of the most wholesome isekai anime out there. This anime is so cute and adorable, it will make you go like, aww, and how cute, half the time. This anime will single-handedly uplift your mood and make you binge watch it completely. Even though the premise of the show is somewhat childish, it was still fun to watch it, and I enjoyed every moment that had Ryoma in the frame. Like any isekai, it starts off with the MC's death and reincarnation. Ryoma reincarnates, thanks to the grace of three deities, into a new world filled with magic and powers that he gained. What does he do? He he enjoys his time and lives it to the fullest after being exploited in a low-wage job and dying of work exhaustion. It's time for him to live a little and have fun, something I personally related to at the time. No Yusha no Densetsu. He is the user of the Alpha Stigma Eyes. The eyes said to be equivalent to the calamity and death, especially if you take in note the fact that those eyes drove everyone that ever had them to complete madness and ended up killing them. All but one, that is. This character is the only one that was able to use his powers without the precautions of falling mad or being destroyed by it. He is the first ever to survive and reach adulthood with those pair of eyes. In fact, his case is so rare he became a legend that brought fear and terror into his enemy's hearts just by existing. Now that is one hell of a powerful MC. Don't you think, guys? Agura Yusha no Estetica. This main character can single-handedly put down all Isekai characters and fight with one hand tied behind his back. Yeah, he is that powerful and has a wide variety of destructive skills that can literally end the world if he so wishes it. However, he's a chill hero and is working on the good guy's side. Thank God, he'll do anything to protect his so-called sister. Akumeki Valrave. In a world where even space, the final frontier, was colonized by humans, three major powers reigned supreme. The Atlantic Rim United States, ARUS, Dorsia Military Pact Federation, and Japan, and Islands of the Ocean Republic, J-I-O-R, with the latter taking a rather neutral position. Our story begins with the 17-year-old student Haruto Tokishima and how his life took a 180-degree turn when the Dorsia forces invaded the neutral area of J-I-O-R in search for armored mechanized weapons called Valvray that are coincidentally hidden in the MC school. What later happens is that the MC so conveniently stumbles on one of those Valrays, enters a pact with it, and rides it to fight back the invasion and protect his friends. Playing hero, in short. 